Hello everyone, welcome back to Art a la carte, and in this episode, I do not know what I am thinking. Ah! <laughs> so, if you have seen a couple of my previous episodes, um, I've been working on this piece. I taught you guys how to draw a seahorse right here. And in the last episode of Watercolor Wednesdays, I went through how I painted this and then did time lapse of the background. I just have to tell you that this turned out really cool, but it wasn't what I originally envisioned when I picked my color scheme for my seahorse. I meant this background to be really, really dark and for him just to pop out kind of glowing. And I wanted a little bit of color in the back, but not a lot. Lots of just really dark, dark blues and greens and blacks and things like that. Obviously, not too much dark, dark, darks going on here. <laughs> Lots of bright, bright, brights. Which looks really cool. I love this effect, but if you look at this from a distance, the seahorse kind of gets lost in everything. And so I kind of went back and forth, what do I want to do with this? And I took it to some of my friends and I asked them and they gave me some very um, interesting advices. <laughs> and so I finally decided I'm just going to try something. It may turn out great. It may totally ruin the painting, but I will have fun doing it and learn stuff while I'm doing it. And I'm going to record it so that you guys can see what I was thinking. And hopefully whatever I'm thinking will turn out good. So let's get cracking. Um, it's up to you guys to determine whether or not this is an improvement or um, not an improvement to this painting. What is my opinion on it? I absolutely adore it. <laughs> it is wild and crazy just like me and yeah, I think it's fantastic. But see, that's not the point of art. Art as the old, 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 old saying goes, art is in the eye of the beholder. Some people might prefer the piece before I totally ran saturated it. And some people might think this is cool the way it is now. So, and which one's right? Well, whoever decides to enjoy the piece, they're the ones who are right, whoever's looking at it. Art is an opinion. And we can all have a great opinion or a negative opinion to a piece of art that we see. That's what makes art so special and unique. My opinion on the piece is that I love it. I think it's fantastic. I think you can see things a lot better and it's a little more interesting, I think. Um, but what's your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like it before or after? If you are one of the people that absolutely adore it like I do and you would love to own this piece, well, this piece will be available in my Etsy shop. You can head over there to find this piece and many, many others like it. And I do really want to say I appreciate everyone who has purchased my artwork. It really helps pay the bills and allows me to keep on doing these video tutorials for you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I challenge you guys, take chances, take risks, go out, make art. Win, fail, good, bad, whatever it is, just do it. And then post your win fails on my Facebook or Instagram. I want to see them. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.